In tonight's Together in Pride segment, we profile a Washington Heights man who was in one of the most successful boy bands of all time. CBS 2's Dave Carlin spoke with one of the former stars of Menudo about a new TV docuseries, his many successes after he left the group, and how living his truth kept him grounded and happy. Earlier this month at the National Puerto Rican Day Parade in Manhattan, this blast from the past rolled by and the crowd roared its approval. Sharing this float, Cesar Abreu and other former members of the boy band sensation that was Menudo. I felt proud to be in the float with them. He was a standout Menudo member and was 12 when he joined in 1990. He is featured in a new HBO show. There I am, right there. I see you. <laughs> the four episode Menudo Forever Young charts the group's rise and scandals alleging abuse. This documentary goes and opens up the curtain. Abreu says he knew he was gay in his early teens and it was difficult keeping it secret while being a star. He says he was bullied. That didn't feel safe. Um, that didn't feel right. His family noticed the pressure and helped remove him from the group. I was able to uh, leave right before two of my Menudo co-members were uh, caught with drugs in, in an airport. It almost felt like I dodged a bullet. He did not miss a beat. He moved to Miami at age 14, the same year he came out as gay. Without authenticity, and honesty. You are bound to live a very unhappy life. He graduated NYU, appeared in national tours of Broadway shows, and with several dance companies. For the past 16 years, he's danced at the Metropolitan Opera at Lincoln Center. Abreu continues performing. He's also taken on a new role lately, behind the scenes as a producer. Well, I think producing concerts and allowing for that space to be opportunities for other artists to thrive. Abreu's advice is be yourself, keep going, and you can soar and succeed. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.